In late 2010, I was made a promise. A promise that nine-year-old me just couldn't resist. I was being told that I was going to be given the opportunity to collect these adorable little minifigures of characters that I already loved, and then I was being told that in a decade's time, they would be worth hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. Well now, 12 years later, I'm here. Ready to cash my check and find out what kind of yacht I'll be buying, and whether I'll be staying at a five-star resort or my five-star resort. While I can't say I was an avid collector over the years, I did manage to convince my parents to buy me quite a few over time. I chose my favourite characters and diligently kept them in their boxes so I wouldn't scratch them off for future sale. And as all things go when you turn 15, I lost interest in them and they were relegated to the corner of my closet where they were never seen again. Until today. I currently own 15 pop vinyl figures, still in their boxes at least, ranging from Batman to Chucky to Bernadette from The Big Bang Theory. Each of them was purchased between 2011 and 2015 and ranged from $15.88 to $17. Adjusted for inflation, the cost of this pile is about 260 Australian dollars. Starting from lowest value to highest, let's find out what my admittedly modest collection is now worth. I found the most recent sale for each of these pop vinyls on eBay and that's the amount that I'll be using as my upper limit for what these are now worth. We'll breeze through these lower ones quickly so we can get to the juicy stuff because the top three here is what we're really interested in. Now our top three, starting with the 33 Batman Beyond figure, was purchased for $15.88 and is now worth 111 Australian dollars. Then our second highest, a 17 He-Man figure, also purchased for $15.88, is now worth 127 Australian dollars. And moving on to our final and most expensive figure, an 11 Luke Skywalker figure. Also purchased for $15.88, this figure is now worth an incredible 183 Australian dollars. Okay, that may not sound super impressive, but when you add up the total value of this collection now, it sits very comfortably at 866 Australian dollars. That's an absolutely absurd increase of just over 233%. To put that into perspective, the stock market in the same time frame would provide an increase of 11.95% over a 10 year period. So it looks like Mike Becker, Brian Mariotti and everyone else in the early 2010s was right and these actually are a worthwhile investment on a long term scale. I guess I should take really good care of them and keep holding on to them so I can sell them for thousands of dollars in another decade, right? If you're seeing this, then that means that the movie is already played or I've decided to do something else with this video. But this is the problem that I have at the moment. This is the filter. This is the lens that I normally use. This is my 16 to 35. And it currently has a broken filter on it. And I've just spent the last 45 minutes trying to get this off. And I'm now resorting to tools. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. <laughs> okay, I can make this movie now. I don't even know how I did it. I must have dropped it. Look at that shard. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for watching my movie. I'm going to actually, in real time, make it now. This is gonna be all the behind the scenes of, of me making that movie. So these videos are some of the only ones that I actually produce and write scripts for and, and do all that sort of stuff. Um, so what I'm currently doing is I'm writing a, a loose script for this video. A little bit over an hour later, maybe two. I don't actually know what time I started, but the script is done. So I can actually start shooting now. So my plan is I'm gonna put my chair over here and then this is where I'm gonna film all the voiceover. I'm gonna use the Rodecaster and do a handheld mic. So I've just worked out the script. These, all these colors are different setups. You'll already have seen all of that, but this is like my thought process behind it all. I'm gonna use this camera now. Hello behind the scenes camera. I've got a big softbox here with a light. I've got all the lights turned on on this one as a side fill. 
So I've got the main fill there, and I've got a little, little, little piddly bit over here. This is what it looks like when I film all the animations. It takes a really long time. Oh my god. <laughs> this, um, wow, these things suck. This idea, that was a last minute addition. And I have a feeling that might make some people very mad. I'm gonna edit this movie now. I'm gonna leave the vlog here because uh, the rest isn't particularly interesting. It'll just be me piecing it together. But that's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>